everyone. Welcome to the Union Pacific Railroad Evanston subdivision in HO scale. My name is Daryl Cruz, owner and builder of the layout and your host for episode 17 of season 2021. And this episode is about an extension I have made uh, into the Taggart Mountain and Taggart Mountain Tunnels and all the way to Devil Slide have probably increased the main line length by about uh, threefold. And I'm not sure how many feet exactly I have here, but it's uh, looking pretty good going from the staging yard uh, through Morgan uh, down the line to the Tagger Tunnels across the Weber River a couple times and then on to Devil Slide. Uh, this is where I was last time. This was the extent of the main line. Here we have Morgan in the corner with two uh, overpass, uh, or the railroad overpasses uh, two roads. So we were up to this point, and now we have extended it on down the line to the Taggart Mountain, the Weaver River, and uh, Devil Slide. So coming from Morgan, one of the first things that needed to be done was to have the main line take a little jog over uh, so that there would be room for the Weber River to cross under and then make a left turn as it goes in front of the Taggart Mountain. Now if you notice, we're using uh, some concrete ties here, which is per the prototype. They do have a little stretch of concrete ties. There's the electrical box that I made a little cutout for that folds down. See, we still have a little seam here on the fascia. And I have not cut the roadbed or the track yet because I have to uh, wire them up first before I make that cut. Otherwise, the trains won't run across it. So I left it attached for now. Uh, but here we have the... Railroad across the Weber River. Now, first, before we get to all the different parts here, uh, look at the prototype. Uh, this is the Taggart Mountain with uh, two bridges um, and uh, two tunnels going through the Taggart Mountain. And, of course, you also have the Weber River and then the Interstate 84, which goes through the same area. Now, in order to fit in my basement and be aligned correctly with the rest of the layout, I decided to flip things around. Okay, so if you notice, the, the words on here are backwards because I flipped it. And so the uh, through truss bridges are on the right and the through plate uh, girder bridges are on the left. Uh, so I had to kind of flip things around um, so that things will kind of be oriented uh, correctly. Uh, here you can see uh, what the area looked like over a hundred years ago. I'm not sure what the date is on this one, but it was definitely uh, a long time ago. And here you see another picture. Um, the end of the mountain was was blasted off when they put in the interstate and that changed the course of the river. All right, so here we're back at the first crossing of the Weber River. That's going to be uh, three sections of a through plate girder bridge. Here you see an aerial photo of that from the satellite with the Weber River going through. Here's an, a roadside picture of the the through plate girder bridge. We'll probably use uh, the Atlas uh, bridges for this, maybe some other ones. But the river's going to turn and then it's going to go off of the layout here and then actually at some point I will extend the layout to include the river going right through here. So it's going to go across and uh, be a continuous river as it goes through the layout. And then this is where the tunnels will be through the Taggart uh, Mountain there. This will be the uh, one end of the tunnels. And this will be the where the actual Taggart Mountain will go through. And then the other uh, portals will be on this side. You notice uh, I've been walking on the walls there. See my footprints? I have to wipe that off sometime. And right, here it crosses the Weber River again. And that's going to be these bridges here. 
uh, which are through um, truss bridges. So I was able to uh, visit there and got some pretty good pictures of these bridges. This is probably the best picture of all the bridge uh, going from the tunnels across the river. So that's going to go right here. And this is the Central Valley Models uh, bridge I'll probably use. Use a couple of those uh, to go across the river there. And then the main lines come back together again. And then this will be the Devil's Slide area, which is just down the road from the Taggart Mountain. S stupid pole. I hate that pole. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is going to be, well, this is the end of the line right now. This is as far as we've gotten. But this is where the Devil's Slide area is going to go. And I think I have enough room to put an interstate through here. So I may uh, go ahead and put uh, the interstate through here and then uh, the Devil's Slide. And this is an aerial photograph of the Devil's Slide area. And as you can see, there's the railroad tracks, the interstate, the Weber River, and then the Devil's Slide. I uh, don't think I'll have room for the river. In fact, I know I won't have room for the river. Um, but I think I'm going to be able to include the interstate, which would be kind of cool. There'll be some uh, vehicles going to, going through there. Um, so that, I think that would be a good addition to, to include that. And then this is the next area I'm going to be focusing on in just a bit. A little bit more about that uh, later. But here's where we are at this point. Now I ran out of uh, masonite, and so I wasn't able to complete the fascia all the way around. So I'll, I'll uh, try and get some masonite this week and, and get that completed, and then I'll be able to get the skirting all the way around. Uh, but now what we've been waiting for, and what I've been waiting for, is to actually see uh, some trains uh, running on the main line uh, for what we have up to this point. Uh, so uh, you can kind of hear in the background, we have the uh, engines uh, started up and the headlights on and the ditch light is on. And now we're heading out of track, uh, track nine. So the tracks are numbered one through 12 with one being on the very left hand side, 12 on the very right hand side. And so now uh, we're coming on out of track nine and onto the main line. This train is uh, being pulled by three uh, tier four Jeevos. The first two are scale trains models. And then the third one is a uh, Intermountain tier four Jeevo. So they're basically models of the same prototype. Uh, so you'll be able to see some of the differences. Uh, main difference you can see right away is the paint is a little bit different uh, color. Uh, not only the yellow is different, but then the walkways are different as well. And then we have some uh, Atherton cars and Walther's cars and looks like some Skill trains, auto racks uh, being pulled through. That's an Atlas uh, signal bridge. And then these signals here are uh, by Details West. All right, we're coming into Morgan, Utah, crossing the first overpass. The big difference, uh, between these models is the paint, as I said. And the uh, scale trains always put their um, walkways as very uh, light gray, if not white, whereas the uh, inner mountains are more grayish. Um, the pictures that I've seen of the prototype, they look gray, but I kind of have a feeling that they maybe came out of the paint shop white or very light gray, if not white, uh, but then turned gray very quickly with just uh, being in the elements. Uh, but uh, both, all three of the locomotives are outstanding locomotives. I like all three of them. Uh, very good detail. And now we're pulling through a Morgan, Utah.
think these box cars are by Athern. The uh, three uh, covered hoppers are by uh, Walther's mainline models, and then the auto racks are by Scale Trains. And this is a long shot all the way down kind of a straight away. One thing I like to try and have on a, a layout is to have long trains uh, at some point on the layout uh, being able to be uh, stretched out on a long straightaway. And there is uh, between Morgan and uh, on both sides of Morgan, there are some stretches of some pretty long straightaways before it gets to the Weber uh, Canyon, the Weber River Canyon. So here you're able to see a, a train of about 30, I think there's 32 cars on this train right now. Uh, but it's able to be pretty much all contained on this one straightaway. Right, so here we're coming up on the uh, Weber River. Again, this will be a, a through plate girder bridge, uh, three sections of them crossing the Weber River. Now the sound didn't go off, it's just since they're kind of far away, you can't quite hear them. As they get closer, you'll be able to hear the locomotives a little bit better. Here you can see the entire length of the train. So there's about 32, I think, cars on here, somewhere in the low 30s. Um, I still have about five feet to add to the staging yard. Uh, so that would probably be another eight cars or so. So we could easily put a 40 car uh, manifest train together here. And now we're crossing the Weber River again after going through the Taggart Tunnels. And then we're coming up on the Devil's Slide area. And for now, the end of the line. One thing I really like about the scale trains, uh, locomotives, is the uh, truck lights and the walkway lights. I think that's a pretty cool addition. Even though I got the room very well lit, you can still see that you have those uh, lights um, it looks pretty realistic. So the main lights separate a bit as they go through the tunnels and across the through uh, truss bridges, but then they come back together here before uh, we get to the wholesome cement area, which is uh, coming up. So right now, this is the end of the line. And we'll go ahead and run a second train out here. Not sure why the depth of focus is not that great right here, but could be the lighting's not quite as bright. Uh, this next train uh, has its headlight on and ditch lights are lit up, and so it's going to be pulling out. Um, with all the construction going on in the basement, um, there's going to be a few uh, dead spots here and there. I haven't done anything uh, as far as putting on uh, no ox um, to eliminate the oxidation of the rails yet. I kind of want to wait till construction settles down before I start putting stuff on the rails. I don't want it to just keep to put that uh, any kind of liquid stuff on the rails, and then you got dust in the air, which is going to accumulate. So I've been kind of waiting until the construction settles down. Uh, construction is not too bad. It's when I sweep up afterwards. Uh, I kind of cleaned up yesterday, and there was a big cloud of smoke in the basement. Or a cloud of dust, I should say. Uh, these are two Atherin uh, locomotives. or SD70 ACEs. Again, by Atherin uh, Genesis. And so we don't run into the back of the first train. We're going to go ahead and cross over into the other main. If 
These are number 10 crossovers that I built with uh, Fast Track, Fast Track's uh, jigs. So these are hand hand constructed. Now the the trains look really sweet going through number 10 crossovers. I d definitely recommend them if you have the space. All right, so this one, as you can see, is coming on the other main. I have the sound set so that if they're not within, you know, 8 to 10 feet of you, you really can't hear them very much. It's only when they come up close to you. I have turned the volume down on all of them. This is a uh, crude oil tank train. All the uh, tank cars are by scale trains. And then of course we have the buffer cars before and after. And so now we're coming up on the waiting train that just went through. If you notice, I've already moved the locomotives a little bit uh, from one end, the, one, end, one end of the train to the other. as I'll have to go back to the staging yard real quick. And going across the Weber River and heading towards the Taggart Tunnels. One thing I really like about double track main lines is the uh, two trains passing each other. Now that Weber River there, I, I, don't, I know I mentioned this already, but it will eventually uh, go uh, connect from one to the other once I get all the uh, the scenery done and the upper level done. Then I'll go ahead and put the river there in front of the mountain, so I'll extend those joists out and add in that uh, river, so it'll be one continuous Weber River from one bridge to the other bridge in front of the Tagger Mountain like on the prototype. Now, as you can see, the height of the railroad is uh, changed from the staging yard to this point. Um, it, there is a six inch increase in height from the staging yards to this point at the end of the, of the, main, at the, end of the main line that I have done at this point. Uh, the staging yards are at 45 inches, and when you get to the end of the track here, it's um, at 51 inches. And there is a uh, pretty much a steady 1% climb uh, through uh, Morgan and then all the way to this point. All right, both trains have made it uh, to the end of the line. Uh, we'll run what we'll uh, run one of the trains back but before we get to that I uh, just want to show what we're going to be looking at in the in the weeks to come I am going to do some framing for this wall here uh, so that we can continue the bench work and then I'll be painting the ceiling uh, at this section and that uh, wall there will have uh, the part of the layout that's the um, wholesome cement and then this will be uh, the Echo Canyon in through there and then there'll be a peninsula right there where Mahomes is keeping guard it'll be nice to get all this painted that'll be the next framing that I'll do and then uh, as you can see once I get those areas painted, the only thing I have left to paint is right here and this little section, which will be where Evanston Yard is. So I'm going to do along that one wall first and then I'll do the other uh, framing for the other walls and just kind of keep moving right along. Here's the staging yard holding a lot of trains. 
So this is cut off right here, but it will be about another five feet and then the other throat of the staging yard. And then where the computer is is where the uh, helix is going to be. I have a pretty much have all the cars I need. I still have a couple of cold trains I want to add, but that's going to be pretty much it for the staging yard. Of course, we'll need more for industries along the way in the yard in Evanston, but we'll do that as we go. I do have a lot of end scale stuff I'm still trying to sell. So if you look at the description of this video, there's a link to my website where you can purchase items. I have about two thirds, if not three fourths of all the items sold. Almost all the locomotives are gone, but I still have lots of rolling stock. Here's the uh, the bridge from the old layout that I'm going to put back together. Um, and I am, I know I've been promising signals for a long time. Um, I'm pretty close to getting to the point where I'm going to be able to test those. Lots of great deals on vehicles. If you need a bunch of N-scale vehicles, this is a time to get a bunch for not too much money. Uh, but still a lot of stuff to sell there. If you're an N-scale looking for something, make sure you check out the website and uh, pick up a, th a few things. And here we are at the other end of the staging yard. All right, let's roll the train back to the staging yard. We won't do both of them, but we'll go ahead and and uh, run one of them back into the staging yard. Now this is a f the first train that went through. Let's clear up the paper there. And as you can see, I did move the locomotives to the other end. And we're going to use a, a distributive power on this one. So I only have two of the locomotives at the head end of the train. And then there is the third one that's going to be bringing up the rear um, as a DPU unit. So we had two scale trains, tier four Jeevos. Uh, these are a bunch of uh, Walther's mainline covered hoppers. And then you have three uh, Athern boxcars. And it looks like some more uh, Walther's mainline covered hoppers. And then some more Athern boxcars. You notice almost all my rolling stock has the reflective yellow tape. I'm trying to keep everything as modern as possible. Uh, here's a couple of Atlas uh, refrigerated cars. And then some scale trains. I think those are scale, yeah, those are scale trains. Uh, auto racks. And then some more Atherin boxcars and Walther's covered hoppers. Followed by a scale train's tier four Jeevo uh, pushing from the rear. So adding the additional main line has made things uh, really fun to run trains. I had my grandson over today and he really uh, enjoyed running the trains in and out of the staging yards. Uh, he's really kind of taken an interest in the trains, which I think is awesome. I'm really looking forward to having him help. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more in the coming weeks. Uh, everybody have a great day and uh, take care.